Guys, in this video we're going to have a look at speed and how to calculate speed, distance and also time. Now, it's very important we understand the units that we could be asked. So, if we're talking about miles, we report the speed in miles per hour, just the same as kilometers per hour. And sometimes we use this forward slash to say per. For some reason, miles per hour, we actually use a P. Now, the other speeds we have are meters per second, and that, that's pretty much it. However, it, from your science lessons, they and of course maths lessons as well, you often learn this little triangle. So to calculate speed, you cover up the S, and that would be distance divided by time. But I would advise you to never ever use it, unless you have to, because this is by using this, this is where people go wrong. Now, what I try, what, I'll give you an example. So if you wanted to try and find the speed, we would normally do distance divided by time. So let's say it's um, 90 miles in 30 minutes. This is what a lot of people do. And they say, well, 90 divided by 30, that is 30, so that's 30 miles per hour. But if you listen to what I said, I said that was in minutes. So this is actually 30 miles per minute. And a lot of people find that hard to understand. So I'm going to show you a different way of writing it all to make it easy. So let's have a look at some questions. So we're told here that Dan is walking at an average speed of 6 kilometers per hour for 40 minutes. How far has he walked? So I'm going to break this down into simpleness, basically. So that's 6 kilometers in one hour. But he hasn't walked for a whole hour. He's only walked for 20, sorry, 40 minutes. So what I'm going to put here is I'm going to say, well, that's also 60 minutes. I know that. So what I'd encourage you to do is now mess around with these numbers until you can turn this into this. So, for example, I can see that I can divide both of these by 3. So if I divide this by 3, I get 2 kilometers. And if I divide that one by 3, I get 20 minutes. So 6 kilometers in 60 minutes is also the same as 2 kilometers in 20 minutes. You can also see this times 10 is that, that times 10 is that. So from here, if I double this one, well, double this one rather, that's 40 minutes. So if I've doubled this one, I have to double this. So I can tell you straight away that it's 4 kilometers in 40 minutes. Now, doing it this way, you're not going to fall into this trap because 40 minutes is quite hard to write as an, well, it's not hard, but it's, if people find it quite difficult to write that in hours. So this is my advice every time. Let's look at number two. So this time a car is travelling an average speed, I haven't written average speed, but it is, of 90 kilometres in one hour. So I'm going to put 60 minutes straight away. And 20 minutes. So think, how can I turn this into 20? Well, I could start by halving these, but that gets 30 and that makes it quite difficult. So I'm going to, again, divide by 3 and I'll get there straight away. So the skill is is how like trying to work out the easiest way to turn it into the numbers that you want. So this divided by 3 is 30 kilometers. So how far in 20 minutes? 30 kilometers. So it's dead easy this way. Now, this is them trying to make it a little bit more complicated because they're bringing in time. So they're leaving the house at 4:30 or 2:30 and they're cycling 39 kilometers. And this, n this number already upsets me because it's not a very nice number. And it's 18 kilometers in one hour. And we've got to try and turn this into 39. So it's horrible, but just start looking at these two numbers and start messing around. So I can see that they're both in the six times table. So if I divide this by six, okay, I know I've got the answer now. I get to three kilometers. Divide this by 6, I get 10 minutes. So at this point, you might be able to know what you times this by to get here. But if you don't, don't worry. Just get as close to you as you can. Times 10 for 30. So that times 10 will be 100 minutes. We need 9 more kilometers. You should be able to turn that into 9 by times in by 3. So if we times that by 3, we get 30. So if we add these together, we get 39 kilometers. That would take us 130 minutes. Now, 130 minutes is obviously over an hour because an hour is 60. Two hours being 120. 
So 130 is 2 hours and 10 minutes. So if we're starting there, what times we arrive? So let's add on the 2 hours, so that's going to be 1600 hours. And let's add on the 10 minutes, that's going to be 40. So they arrive at 1640. So sometimes the numbers are a bit more difficult, but if they are too tough, they'll have a calculator question. And th even these numbers could appear on a calculator paper, but you do not need them. All right, good luck with the speed.